Good morning and welcome. It's Tuesday the 5th of July. I am Flat Cap Callum. I'm hoping you are all very, very well. Coming up today, today we are going to break this Tuesday rubbishness. So those of you who are watching a long time will know I often talk about how for some reason since I've done the channel, Tuesday is our nemesis. So uh, statistically the worst day of the week to follow the channel. So what do you want on a Tuesday when Tuesdays don't go well? You want me to come on here and tell you I've got some lovely looking Wolverhampton selections. So that's what I'm going to do. So we've got... um, a couple of bets coming up today. We've got £15 stakes. It was three-quarter stake today, £15. Before we do that, we'll do a review of yesterday. Um, and we'll have a quick word on the tennis and a mention on the golf. That's what we'll do. Okay, so yesterday, 20 on. I got it as 5.32 back. Um, it really does depend on bookmakers yesterday. So because I put my bets on and there was an on-runner, that gave me a couple of quid back more than some would get. But then if you'd done it with Bet365, I think the equivalent stake, I worked out about £12. So if you bet 365, you, you you would you still wouldn't have made a profit, but it would have been a better day. So what did we have? Um, a lot of disappointment in this bet. Um, so other than Rams that placed at nines, the other three massively ran and underperformed. Um, mass- uh, that's, that's poor English. Basically, they didn't do very good and they should have done better. Um, so yeah, real disappointment in that one for Bet1. Um, and then bet two, we had Dolly Dancer again, but Lake Shore Drive um, just got nabbed on the line. I thought it was going to win, but didn't, didn't quite get there. Vale of Glory was fifth, which was good enough for bet three, six, five, but nobody else. And, and Delilio placed. So it was a place double for most. If you'd done it with bet three, six, five, it was a place treble, and you got the additional place double as well. So it was a nice bet for bet three, six, five. Um, and then. Bet three, that got was close but not quite there. Lakeshore Drive we talked about. Ashkar was a non-runner. The replacement in there came sixth. Wasn't quite close enough. Laughing Tricks finished last. Something went funny with that one. Uh, and then we had the cross doubles. So my cross doubles, a veil of glory and Ashkar. So that was fifth and a non-runner. But it would only pay out for bet 365 and then Delilio. So if you were bet 365, you got the place double. Um, if you did not, you didn't get anything back on that one. So, yeah, it was a bit disappointing, really. But it was, was sort of a couple of bits were OK. And then a lot of it was underperforming yesterday. So uh, so hopefully we don't have that, that same thing happening today. So what have I got? I've got two split lucky 15s. And I've got a, I'm going to do a fourfold accumulator as well. So um, so this is what I've got. So bet one, this is a Wolverhampton split lucky 15. Um well documented on this channel it's very hard to get right at Wolverhampton and none of them are big prices um but yeah I've I've, I've looked through it and I was I was happy enough with these so we'll see um so the 130 first uh, race is the split leg so we're going Jumeirah Bridge and Freedom Flyer and I'm well aware in that race there's also Steel River which we've taken many times on the channel and I'm just edged those two over Steel River so Jumeirah Bridge Freedom Flyer so that's a and B of leg one, then two o'clock Glorious Charmer, which we've taken a few times, eleven to two, then two thirty Benita B, eleven to one, and then finishing off four thirty Rose Fandango, fifteen to two. So it was two times ten p each way, lucky fifteens. On this bet, um, Sky are four on this race, five on this race, and four on this race, which is better than you'll get in most other places. So there's no additional places on the two thirty. Um, but yeah, I think it's definitely, this one is a sky bet to be done with. So that's that one. Then bet two is three of these plus one from bet three to make up a 75p each way fourfold. So I've got Jamira Bridge, Glorious Charmer and Rose Fandango all at Wolverhampton. Put them with Perfect Swiss at Pontefract. And that race, Sky have gone four on that. So you're getting an extra place on all of these with Sky. So if you've got the option, put it on with Sky. Now I'm hoping... We don't need an extra place on these, um, but four horses all, all, all in different races, all with an extra place. Law of averages sort of suggest that you're probably going to end up needing one of them somewhere, maybe, but who knows. So it's a 75p each way fourfold on those four. So those are the odds that I've got. Um, for my odds, they're all, all fixed. If you did go other bookmakers, you would obviously get best price guarantees. You might get slightly improved odds. I don't see them shifting much, to be honest, though. 
So yeah, I would. I if it was me, uh, I would, and I had the choice of all bookmakers, I'd put it on with Sky Bet. So that is bet two. And then bet three is a slightly more complicated bet. So what have we got? Um, four fifteen. We're starting off with Perfect Swiss there. Then the four forty five is a great looking race. That four forty five. Um, and I've had a really good look through, and the, the solid, most solid option is Golden Keeper. But I think Darius is the is the lurker there that is priced up a little bit wrong, and I think it's really worth a go at 125s um, for this bet. So I've put it in there at 125s. If you're bet 365, 100%, this is a horse where you want to be looking at extra place fourth or fifth. Um, when I looked this last night and we'll look this morning, it's really interesting different price. So on Bet365, 150 to 1 this morning and last night, solid that horse. But the side markets have, have, have gone in. So side market, you could have got 140 to 1 paying fourth place and 90 to 1 paying fifth place. This morning, it's still 150s in the main market, but it's down to something like 90s um, paying fourth place and 50s or 60s paying fifth place. So the side market is retracted, but the main market is held on that one. So I really think that's worth a little go in the in our bet. So I'm having I'm having it in there at 125s. We haven't had a, a little decent big price winner, a, a big price place like that for a while. So you know, in the history of the channel, we've had a few where we've got triple figure odds placed, um, and and people think I look like I'm crazy. I do think that will go much closer than 125s, like. Hand on heart, what do I think? I think it's probably going to come, I think it's probably a fifth place horse. So I'm hoping it just maybe does enough to get third. Um, but I think betting it fifth place is, is a fairly sound bet. Um, so that is Deris in at 125s. And then we've got it, as I said, split with Golden Keepers. That's a split leg. Then the 610 on the pulse is only seven runners. Um, but I, I, I still think that's a decent price. Um, not necessarily the most favourable terms on seven runners, but I think it's worth putting in. And then in the eight twenty, as a beer, another good race structure, fourteen to one that one. Um, so yeah, so what I've done is I've done two ten p each way lucky fifteens, split it on leg two. So one one bet has got Darius in and one's got Gone Keeper. Then I've got an additional single on Darius at that price, and then we've got an additional each way double. That's a twenty five p each way double on the bottom two. So if it all goes awry, at least we've got something to cheer in the last two legs on the post and the beer. That is bet free. As usual, any questions, shove it in the comments. Um, as far as tennis goes, we've got uh, Jabir playing today. If she wins, we get, I think it's like £1.60 or £1.70 back in, in the coffers. So it's it's fairly negligible, but we'll take it if she does win. The main thing is tomorrow is Fritz against Nadal. So uh, if Fritz, Fritz beats Nadal, we've got some money in. Then if Fritz wins the semi-final, we get a bit more money in. And then if Fritz went on and magically won Wimbledon, we'd get even more money in. So um, every game now, it counts for Fritz. Um, but obviously, he's got to get past Nadal, which is no mean feat. So um, Jabor today for a little bit. And then the main tennis is tomorrow for Fritz. Mention on the golf. Um, coming together with the bet, I think I'll be there with a the lucky 15 this week. Um, predominantly looking at Scottish Open. Um, so yeah, I'll have some singles and a Scottish Open Lucky 15, I think, um, coming together. So that should be grand and that will be on tomorrow's video. That is me for today. Enjoy your day. Let's have a great Tuesday because we never seem to. So we'll have a great Tuesday today and I'll see you in the morning. Thanks very much. Cheerio.